Many people consider the 2019 LSU team to be the best college football team of all time. Today, we're going to see if the best college team of all time can beat the worst NFL team. So this is what the 2019 LSU roster is looking like. I based a lot of these guys' ratings off of their rookie ratings on the other Maddens and then kind of lowered it from there. So a lot of the 2019 LSU team actually made the NFL. So that made things a little bit easier, but still had to create some players. Now in the Georgia video, they played the Bears because they have the number one overall pick. But a lot of you guys said that I should have played the Texans. So we're going to play the Texans today. I actually think this team has a chance to beat the Texans off the rip here but let's get into the game and find out all right let's see how this first quarter goes as the texans score first do the vikings or the lsu tigers do answer the reason i put them on the vikings is because their jersey colors are the most similar in my opinion but yeah they're looking pretty good right now 21 13 and a half let's see what the third quarter brings us do the texans answer they do but man this lsu team they're fighting out here they got the lead going into the fourth the Texans tie it right back up. The Texans take the lead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I had a hop into it. They're already on a drive here as they're at the 32. Joe Burrow's airing one out. Oh, good D. Right before the two-minute warning, they only need a field goal to tie it up. So, yeah, nice dump off. And that's close to a first down. They are just short. Third and inches. Easy conversion. Dude, they might win this game, guys. Minute 30 left. Dropping back another dump off. And, oh, he might score here. Keep going. Jeez. One yard away, guys. I didn't know who that was at first because of the numbers, but that's actually Jamar Chase wearing number 85. I probably should give him the number one jersey. I'll do that after this game. But first and goal here, are they going to score? They're just chilling in coverage in the end zone, the Texans are. Going for it. No, just threw it away. Are the Texans going to hold him back here? Let's see. Quick throw to Justin Jefferson, and that is a touchdown for the LSU Tigers. And he's gritting on the Texans, too. Did the 2019 LSU Tigers leave too much time for Davis Mills, though? Dice dump off. Getting a lot of yards off of this, too. Wow. And they do have all three of their timeouts right now. I completely forgot that the CPU has zero sense of urgency. There's so much time going off the... Why did why did they wait so hard to call a timeout? I mean, they just let like 10 seconds go off the clock for no reason, but and they gotta get a touchdown too. It's not like they can tie it up with a field goal. There's so much time being wasted here. He's there out though. That was a big throw from Davis Mills. I was not expecting that to happen at all. They got a quick timeout in this time. 18 seconds, one timeout left. Nice throw into the flats. Uh, breaking the tackle. First down. I thought he was about to score there. After they wasted so much time, I did not think they were going to win this game. They might hear. He was open. 15 was so open, but he got a touchdown still. Davis Mills and the Texans take the lead with, what, five seconds left? If this was, like, the current players, like Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, and Joe Burr, if they had the current attributes, maybe they could pull this off, but, yeah, they didn't even complete a pass. This would have been such a short video if the LSU Tigers won off the rip, but super close game in game one. They were going back and forth in this game. Joe Burrow threw the ball 53 times. Davis Mills had a four touchdown game. What a monster game for Davis Mills. Justin Jefferson and Jamar Chase still putting up some big numbers, even with their like rookie, like a little bit lower than their rookie attributes. Thaddeus Moss was a big part of that LSU team, so nice to see him putting up numbers. Both of these teams have Derek Stingley, and it looks like the Texans' Derek Stingley out before are Derek Stingley. So in the Georgia video, I was upgrading players every time we lost, right? But honestly, I think we could beat the Texans if I just play another game. With how close game one was, like, yeah, zero upgrades. I think LSU could win in game two. It's tied after the first. Quarter number two. I hope it's close again, though, right? But yeah, 10-7. Nothing was really going on, but they both got field goals in the second quarter. Quarter number three. Is anyone going to pull away here? Texans get a touchdown. Ooh. LSU only gets a field goal. How's the fourth quarter going to look here as LSU? Nothing. Do the Texans pull away here? No, they don't score either. Well, we got another close game in the fourth quarter can joe burrow and the lsu team do something here second and fourth they got plenty of time they're running it that's not bad but oh they didn't get any yards there third down are they gonna run it again they are easy first down conversion this is a big run for clyde edwards alaire we still got a lot of time left here and i don't know who that was going to lsu coming out in five wide joe burrow chilling in the pocket dump it off to jamar chase who i fixed his jersey no, number he, he fumbled he absolutely oh no Oh, no. He just choked. The Texans might actually win this game again. Wow. LSU defense has to step up here. They got to get a turnover or pretty big stop right there. The good news for LSU is two-minute warning just hit. They got all three timeouts, and I think the Texans are just going to run it. Although it's third and four, so they probably should try to throw the ball here, which, yeah, play action. 
dump off into the flats does oh yeah damian pierce first down there we go i thought damian pierce was gonna step out of bounds before the first down for a sec the game is not over quite yet but it's not looking good for lsu here as oh yeah I think now the game is over. Nice run from Damian Pierce. So best case scenario, LSU gets the ball back with what, like 20 seconds left? Bruh. No, the game is over right there. Damian Pierce had like three huge runs on this drive. Like what's going on with LSU here? Like sure that they knew they were going to run the ball, right? Game number two, again, a super close game. It's another one score game. And honestly, LSU choked, right? Jamar Chase fumbled on that last drive. 5.6 yards of carry for Damian Pierce. Yeah, a monster. Six broken tackles. We didn't have any turnovers in the last game, but Grand Delta got to pick this game. I still don't think we should upgrade a player. So third time's a charm right here, right? If we lose a third game, I'll upgrade someone. Game number three. I think third time's a charm. This team can beat the Texans. I believe, oh, two touchdown lead in the first quarter. Looking really good at the start here as three touchdown lead. That's 21 nothing, guys. Is it gonna be 21 nothing at half? It's 24 to nothing at half. Didn't touch the team at all, by the way. It's 31-0. What is happening in this game? 31 to seven. It's a blowout, guys. Guys. So after two super close games that honestly LSU choke, the third game they blow out the Texans 41 to 14. So Joe Burrow only had two touchdown passes, huh? Who was scoring for this team? Jamar Chase had almost 200 yards receiving in this game. What? I missed the other rushing touchdown. So yeah, Tyrion Davis Price had a touchdown as a backup running back, and Justin Jefferson had a rushing touchdown. I know this is just mad, and it took us three tries, but I think the best college team of all time could beat the Houston Texans in real life, guys. And I think almost all the starters from the 2019 LSU team made the NFL, so kind of makes sense that they could beat the worst team in the NFL. So definitely a different story from the Georgia video, but I want to see how the 2019 LSU team does against the Bears, who do have the number one overall pick. So they technically are the worst team in the league. All right, let's see how it goes against the Bears as no points, no points so far. The Bears are on a drive, 0-0 zero, zero after the first. Quarter number two, the LSU on a drive, but only gets three points. Wow, but it looks like the Bears aren't doing anything on offense. It's 10-3 at halftime. The Bears finally get some points on the board. Are they going to... See, they're just not doing anything. Pick. Wow, Patrick Queen gets a pick. Low scoring game. LSU gets a field goal to extend the lead. Bears got to put up points here. That's a huge touchdown for them. They got to get the stop here now, and it looks like clock is being killed. Oh, field goal really so the bears need a touchdown 43 seconds zero timeouts and we know how bad the cpu is with clock management oh they actually ruled it a complete pass i thought it was way out of bounds uh that's not good all right 14 seconds can't keep this inbounds gotta go for the sideline that's a huge throw and he's out of bounds wow if he got that inbounds the bears absolutely have a chance to win this game now they do have nine seconds so the quick outs could work but i think they're gonna go for the end zone here yeah i mean so much clock being wasted Just Justin Fields airing it out towards the end zone, getting it into the end zone, and it's knocked away. So there we go. The 2019 LSU Tigers can beat the team that has the number one overall pick in the first try, too. Part of me is definitely surprised we're actually beating these teams without upgrading, but also, again, like, most of the 2019 LSU team made the NFL, and a few of these guys are stars in the NFL right now, too, right? So... Kind of makes sense, but definitely crazy to see, right? So, Terrace Marshall getting a touchdown. It was a low-scoring game, so I'm guessing the defense balled out. Braden Fajoko, Damone Clark, sack. We saw the Patrick Queen pick. Jacob Phillips, two pass breakups. Cordell Flott with the pass breakup. Grant Delpit, Kerry Vincent, so... Yeah, defense balled out for us, I guess. I think at this point, we just keep playing teams until we get absolutely blown out. So Cardinals have the third pick in this year's draft, so we're playing them next. I made sure Kyler Murray is starting for the Cardinals, too. So this should be the Cardinals at full strength. It is only 3 nothing after the first quarter, though, so we'll see how this goes. The Vikings have the lead. The Cardinals get the lead right back, though, and they extend the lead here 16-7. Joe Burrow got picked by Zayvon Collins. Uh-oh. Two-score lead for the Cardinals at halftime. They extend the lead once again, but the LSU Tigers are fighting out here, but I don't know if they could do enough to make a comeback. Let's see how this fourth quarter goes. I mean, two-touchdown lead, three-touchdown lead now. Three-score loss for the LSU Tigers here. I want to beat the Cardinals before we end this video, so I am turning Joe Burrow into a 9-9 overall. Yeah, I think we could win this game with Joe Burrow just being a 9-9 overall. It's looking much closer this time, but the Cardinals are still winning this game right now. Maybe we got 
got to juice someone up on defense, but LSU ties up. Only a field goal for the Cardinals. LSU takes the lead here. Cardinals fighting right back, though. This is a back-and-forth game so far. 28-24 at half. A lot of scoring being done in this game. I like it. That's the best kind of football, right? Just no defense, back-and-forth offense. 35-31 at the fourth quarter. Looking good for LSU right now. They extend the lead, but it's still a touchdown game. How do the Cardinals respond? They respond by tying the game up. All right, can 99 overall Joe Burrow lead the LSU Tigers to a win here? Justin Jefferson has 207 yards. Is that what I just saw? They've been airing it out, huh? Oh, I thought that was picked for a second. Nice catch by Jamar Chase. How was this not picked, though? He should have absolutely jumped that. That's just a really bad play by the defender there. All right, Joe Burrow. Three minutes left. Dump off to Jamar Chase. First down once again. All right, two and a half minutes left. A run. Justin Jefferson run. Went absolutely nowhere, though. Right before the two-minute warning. Come on, Jamar Chase in the flats. All right, he's going for the sideline. Final play before the two-minute warning. Joe Burrow airing it out. What a catch. Oh, Jamar Chase dropped it. And they're just taking a field goal. This is a super long field goal. Nope. It is so short. Kyler Murray time. He's got plenty of time. He three timeouts. He's running it, and he oh, wow. He's got a lot of space here. First down. It's already not looking good for LSU here. Now they get the first down. They might already be in field goal range. I mean, they're just only running. It's a fumble. The Cardinals fumbled and the LSU recovers. What? Dude, we've had some crazy things happen in this video. Patrick Queen, I think, forced the fumble. At least he wrapped the guy up. Oh, no. Someone came in. Jacob Phillips came in and punched that ball out. Wow. Joe Burrow time, baby. Joe Burrow got a clutch up here and a monster throw to Jamar Chase. We've had some crazy turnovers in this game. But, yeah, the handoff right to Clyde edwards helaire This is a huge run for him. I think this is GG's, guys. I guess they could score too early here, but yeah, just keep running it. Clyde Edwards Alaire gets wrapped up at the two yard line. Funny thing about Clyde Edwards Alaire, I actually kept his attributes from this year because his rookie attributes are way better. One timeout, 54 seconds, just hand it off, and it's a touchdown for the LSU Tigers. Can Kyler Murray clutch up here like he does on Warzone? What is that spin move? He slides. What are we doing? They didn't even call the timeout either. Like, I'm so confused right now. Kyler Murray, he's trying to run it again. You can't be running the ball. You can't slide, dude. What are you doing? 18 seconds left. No more timeouts now. They are so far away from the end zone. They're not winning this game. Now, I have seen some crazy things happen, like a pass interference or something like that could definitely happen here. Kyler Murray's chucking it up. Don't see a flag on the field. And no one catches it game's over so not only did we beat what you guys think is the worst team the texans we also beat the team with the number one overall pick the bears and then we beat the number three pick cardinals after we upgraded joe Burrow to 99 overall are we sure this was an nfl game or was this a big 12 college game four touchdowns for joe Burrow, five touchdowns for kyler murray so i hope you guys enjoyed the video youtube recommends that you watch this video next and i'll see you in the next one peace